Hey there, hi there, ho there, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay, hope you're still safe, hope you're still healthy. And in recent week, a lot of stuff has changed and a lot of stuff seems to be changing for the better, but it's still gotta continue, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I feel like I gotta keep on doing that for all my videos until, like, things are a lot better. Not just kind of better, but a lot better and done completely nationwide, which it's starting to. It's starting to get better, so it's the little things, guys. Take each step, but also take care of yourself. I know that it's very easy to burn out and to get tired, and admittedly my Tumblr has turned from me posting art to me reblogging a lot of uh, stuff about the current movements and Black Lives Matter, but that's just kind of me doing stuff to try and boost at least some signals. Uh, I'm going to probably turn my Tumblr into just me reblogging whatever the heck I want because I tried to have the separate blog and it's just like, eh, whatever. I do have a fandom blog, so that's a thing, but I don't post on there that often anymore. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, uh, this isn't related to any of that. Instead, I drew one of my favorite characters from my childhood and because I've been watching it a lot lately, uh, it's on app, on Netflix, so it's really easy for me to pick it back up and binge it a bajillion times because I like to have sounds in the background. Uh, the only time I don't is when I'm recording for audio. <laughs> but uh, as I'm watching it again, it reminds me of how much I love certain characters. I still love Toph. Toph is like the character that I related to most growing up, but... I am, as much as like everybody else, a huge fan of Zuko because I love this awkward as the fandom I have found has called him Turtle Duck and he's great. <laughs> he means well, so that's a thing. And he's got a really good arc, like as a whole, I've never seen a character done as well. And also he's voiced by Dante Vasco, so like that's rad. That's fucking rad. Uh, <laughs> so I ended up really spending not that much time on this. Uh, I did this with my typical pencil, my clairpoint or whatever, and I broke out my old sketchbook, which I haven't drawn in for a couple of months, I realized, because I've just been drawn on paper and it's too big to carry in my bag, so I have a smaller sketchbook for that kind of stuff. But I kind of missed using it and I was doodling in it the other night, practicing some different drawings and drawing different styles. but. I kind of just reverted back to my typical style for um, Zuko. Uh, I also want to draw Madruk because I am fond of dragons and little snake dragons because hello, I'm also a fan of Hanzo. That's a thing. <laughs> Noodle dragons are some of my favorite kinds of dragons. And yeah, I also broke out my old pipsqueak markers, which I haven't used in a couple years. They're fun to work with. Uh, the only downside is because they are Crayola, they're water-based, and with water-based markers, they can bleed through the paper, or not bleed through, but they'll uh, soak into the paper and they'll pill the paper, they'll break it down, so you can't color as much, like you can't layer the colors as well. So that's one of the downsides to them, and they're also, again, they're, they're Crayola, so they tend to not match the color on the outside as the inside, so they'll be a little different. Uh, best way to counteract that is to have like a reference sheet like and write down each of the names, it's preferably in a rainbow color because it's easier to figure out what color you want. Do you want a warmer one? Do you want a cooler one? Do you want a darker one, a lighter one? That kind of thing. So. 100% would recommend a reference sheet. I used to do that in all my sketchbooks back in college. And yeah, there's not much else to say about this. I just kind of had some fun with it. And I think this is probably going to be pretty short because altogether this took about a half an hour. I might draw like something else just to add a little bit more so it's not just a quick thing for the week. Uh -huh. But my Wednesday video took a little bit longer to edit because I tend to be too much and a perfectionist, and even then I forgot to edit an in, uh, I can't talk, edit some sounds in because I really like the sounds of crashing noises when added with hand movements. That's a dumb thing, but <laughs> it's fun to do. Anyway, I think that's all for now, so thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and see you next time. Also, stay safe out there.